I always suspected that there were other closeted living room dancers out there in the universe. <laughs> but regardless of what we have in common, Devin and I still need to put our heads together and come up with something for our online screenwriting project. I think I had a pretty good idea come to me last night. Penguins. Penguins? Yeah. How do you think we can make that work? I'm sorry, I need a little bit more to go on than just penguins. Well, you've seen March of the Penguins, right? Yeah, the first 10 minutes, then I fell asleep. Well, it's basically that, but boiled down to three minutes. We can't just rip off March of the Penguins. Why not? It's not a copyrighted idea, it's just a documentary about penguins. Penguins have been around since the dawn of time. Probably not that long. Besides, where are we going to find penguins to film with? We could budget for a trip to Antarctica? I quit. No, no, Devin, I'm kidding. We wouldn't use real penguins. we dress up in penguin suits. March of the Penguins with Fake penguins. Not exactly. Our penguins would talk to each other. Ooh, maybe even sing and dance like in Happy Feet. I still quit. No, Devin, no, I was kidding. I, I was kidding, Devin. I do feel that the unconscious mind is most free to play and create when you're asleep. Antarctica. Here, the temperature can get as low as 128 degrees below zero. Don't cross-country ski in Antarctica without some super thick gloves. Touching metal with your bare hands will make your skin stick right to the pole. If this happens, try breathing on your hand. Warm, moist air should help it detach. If all else fails, whip it out and pee. Urine should be warm enough to do the trick. Somebody pee on me! Devin, sorry to wake you. I just came up with a great idea for a sketch. Do you have any ski poles? It's Ashley. 